Well, that is the second week, and in the third week, we'll give him one more teaser involving good old James E. This is one that I had pitched for and or supported or whatever for some yeah, time. Campaigned. Yeah, uh, campaign even and got petitions mm. signed. But uh, <laughs> the story of the Graham family, specifically Eddie and Mike Graham in the modern generation, but involving also superstar Billy, who just passed away, and not only good old crazy Luke, but Dr. Jerry Graham, the 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 originator of the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, again, um, you Dutch Mantel. A lot of folks had had been just kind of insisting that we do it. Um, and of course, with Tales from the Territories last year with Championship Wrestling from Florida, doing that episode, we got a lot of, you know, amazing stories about Eddie and and um, kind of got in that zone, you know, from there in order to do this. Um, and yeah, it is obviously a very uh, incredibly tragic story. I kind of compare it in a way to the Von Erich episode we did in season one only in that it's kind of a familial generational tragedy, you know, kind of relentless tragedies in one yeah. family where, you know, you have suicide kind of passing down through the generations as this kind of head, um, this kind of hereditary thing. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, Eddie Graham, just one of the greatest, you know, minds of wrestling ever, one of the most influential, innovative promoters ever, and, you know, his, I think it was his father or was it his uncle and his father also took, took their own lives. And yes. then of course, Eddie would take his, his son, Mike, who was obviously a wrestler as well too, would take his own life. And then Mike's son also committed suicide. And it's just this kind of unfathomable story. But, um, the title we landed on for the episode is breaking the, it's called breaking the cycle uh, the Graham dynasty. And that's majorly because we got Mike's daughter in the episode. And it's a very unique perspective because she taught, she was around for all of it, every aspect of this, uh, minus of course, you know, Eddie's, you know, father and, and brother or right. um, uncle. But she basically talks about being the survivor of this. And she's the one member of this family who's going to break that cycle. And she really talks about how in the in that family, in the Gossett family, that's their real name, how when, you know, one member of that family decides to make that choice um, with suicide, that it kind of makes it a viable option uh, for everybody else. And so her big stance, you know, through raising awareness locally in Florida um, to really getting out, you know, uh, raising, yeah, just raising more awareness generally for mental health, um, causes and things like that. She's really here to be the one to really stop that, you know, put a stop to that in her family. So it's an incredibly tragic story. Um, but it does get to the heights of, you know, uh, the Grams at the height of their powers. It does take a detour into Dr. Jerry Graham for, <laughs> You know, probably your showstopper story of the season. Um, well, and, well, you uh, know, it, it you can't you can't put on the cutting room floor a man stealing his mother's corpse from a hospital. But yeah, the, it, when 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 Billy Graham passed away last week ago now, and and we did uh, Brown and I did the uh, the podcast and talked yeah. about him. You know, it's it's amazing that that family, we we drew some parallels. The Graham family, both Gossett, which was Eddie and Mike's real name, as you said, and Jerry was the only real Graham. Yeah. But the Graham family and the McMahon family were intertwined yes. in various ways for 50 years, from Dr. Jerry being a huge draw for Vince Sr., but a pain in the ass because he was alcoholic and mentally ill, but he was Vince Sr. or Vince Jr.'s favorite yeah. wrestler because he was an alcoholic and mentally ill and crazy. <laughs> and then Vince senior came to work with Eddie who did have the functioning alcohol alcoholism, but was a respected wrestler and promoter and businessman for 20 years. While at the same time, Vince junior mm -hmm. patterned, Hulk Hogan and everything that he would do in the wrestling business after superstar Billy Graham, yep. the final, you know, gimmick member of the family, who was the biggest box office attraction in the world for Vince Sr. And he still took the belt off of him and sent him into a 
downward spiral of yeah. depression. So it's yep. it's amazing that those three generations, and and then Shane was a you know huge superstar Billy Graham fan. He was right. like the Dr. Jerry to Vince Jr. Hmm. Shane was to Billy or whatever. It's amazing what they couldn't get away from each other. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, for, for expectation reasons, um, I will say that when we did get to putting the episode together, you know, interviewing Nicole, which is, you know, Mike's daughter and, uh, you know, Kevin Sullivan's in the episode, you're in the episode, putting it all together. It really was, wow, this is the story of Eddie and Mike and the family. Um, and of course that detour with Dr. Jerry, and it was tough to do any sort of justice to, you know, superstar in the episode because of just, you know, we wanted to really tell the story of the Gossett family, really. So we right. did. And, you know, but hey, you never know. I mean, maybe now Billy Billy Graham's story is, you know, ready to be told for a future season. So that's something we should definitely be looking into. 